So, what's going on, everybody? It is me, Bloodhound, and I am back with yet another commentary video with some video game in the background because I concentrate better when I am not talking and doing live commentary. Uh, but it also gives me time to maybe develop a script or just go ahead and... Um, think of something to say, um, and that's uh, a problem right now, because I feel like I have nothing to say. Um, but I might just go ahead and tell you guys sort of what's going on uh, with my YouTube channel, and why you've had like two um, four-day waits in a row for videos, in fact, one really late day for a video. Um, that's kind of my fault. Um, just in general, um, the, right. just being late, I just had a lot to do, um, and so, just, sorry about that, but when you have so much to do, it's hard to kind of, you know, go through and be all, yeah, fine, I can you upload a video, like, I didn't have time to even upload a video. Um, so what have I what have I been doing over the weekend? And um, hopefully this will probably go up on President's Day, even though I'm recording this on Valentine's Day. So I hope you had a great Valentine's Day, unlike me, um, who um, sat at home and played CS:GO this weekend. I'm really proud of player. myself. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't care what rumors would suggest. I Go don't have a girlfriend. Mark it and I, your stuff will be there. I'm actually pretty alone sometimes, I feel. I kind of just like sit in my bed some days and just re re look at how lonely I actually am. Because when you, it, you, you feel lonelier when you realize that you're lonely. It, it's a weird thought. But it's really true. Um, and Valentine's Day is the real day. Is the real day where you get a lot, where it kind of just like punches you in the face and says, "Gotcha, mother." Uh, you're gonna get knife. Damn it. Um. Yeah. That's the sort of day where it's just like that. And it's kind of a shame. But you know what? It's Valentine's Day, and I could honestly care less. Um. I've gone pretty much every year alone yeah. for Valentine's Day, and um, I don't think that'll change for another couple of years, unless I get really lucky. Ah, stop knifing so, me. So, um, yeah, I I'm being a little sarcastic here, but then again, I'm not even being sarcastic at times. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I've had kind of a long weekend-ish sort of thing, because President's Day, um, I don't have to do anything this weekend, I got like four days off, so that's great. So, you know what I did with my life? I played CSGO and bought a bunch of skins, <laughs> like cheap skins, not like nice skins, but like cheap skins. That I technically don't even need. Because they're like five cents. But hey, it's worth it. So. Uh, that that's what player. I've been doing. And uh, Heroes and Generals, when you saw the Heroes and Generals gameplay video that I uploaded with the live commentary, that's like the only time I've actually like played Heroes and Generals. Uh, for over 30 minutes, I think. Or not 30 minutes, it was like over tw around 20 minutes. Most times I'm playing Heroes in Generals now, I play for like 5 minutes and get really bored with it. Um, I have games like Cerverium and uh, Warface, um, but earlier on when I was uploading Warface, um, like they were getting like 3 views um, until some people kind of just like went back to my channel and watched some of my older videos and that's when you know I got like six views on them 
But then the fuse kind of comes into play here. Do you guys even want me to keep my YouTube channel? Like, seriously. I've been going on f making videos for the last few years. Um, since about, it's been four years since I've been making YouTube content on various different channels. And one thing I've noticed when I'm making videos is unless you're big, people don't respond to them. Or unless you don't, if, or if you do a uh, a video with someone that has about a significant larger amount of subscribers and gets at least just way more views than you, you'll be fine. You'll get a few subscribers from that. Otherwise, you're kind of screwed. You have to little. You have to know people if you want to actually do good in the YouTube world. Unfortunately. I don't really know any good YouTubers. And I was gonna do a video with a, a, a bigger YouTuber. And then he quit his channel. Because he had important th other important things to do. Um, so, if anyone with at least a thousand subscribers wants to do a video with me, uh, and they have TeamSpeak, I'm... I would be open to that idea. Um, if you ever want to do a video with me, um, I'm fine with that. Go ahead. I suck at video games. It doesn't matter. Um, but I mean, yeah. Do you even really want to see my games, my gameplay videos? Do you like my YouTube content? Uh, honestly, it, I feel like sometimes it's just a barrier of what I want to do with uh, my life. I feel like I want to, you know, just play a game and not have to record it with a recording system and then go ahead and um, upload it to uh, a YouTube page and I may have spent a good t hour to two hours making this video nice for you people and, you know, the extra, you know, 20-ish minutes of recording it only to really receive, like, a maximum of five views. And I kind of feel that's... it's kind of sad. I feel... but I guess that's just life. Because... If there's any advice that you could ever get out of my YouTube channel, is there anything that you could get out of my YouTube channel that's pretty serious? That, like, I'm actually gonna say that's serious enough that you should probably listen to it? Or just anything from this channel that you, you, this is your first time on the channel? If you see anything, I want it to be this. Shit happens. Okay? You know, life is not smiles and happy faces. Life is full of hardships, and you're going to come across them a lot. And YouTube is the greatest example of that. No matter what you say, what you think, what, you, what other channels look at, those channels got big because people saw the potential in them early on, and then people tried to bandwagon. And that's exactly what I did. And I don't like to admit it, but I'm kind of, at times I've been a bandwagoner. And that's why I, I have the YouTube channel. And then I realized that I kind of like doing this. Um, but if there's one thing you should know is that don't bandwagon things. Be creative. Okay, find something new. Something that People will look back on in five years' time, or, well, not really five years' time, but, like, ten years' time, even, and they'll say, you know, this person did something new and creative, and this person deserves some recognition. That's what I want the people that watch this video to do, if they have the time and the effort to do. 
do something, even if it's a gaming video on a different platform. Even if it's just that, do it. Because I guarantee that one, one day you will be a celebrity somewhere. I mean, I'm not saying that you're guaranteed, but if it's something that not a lot of people are too big with, it, there's a huge chance that will be a, a probability. Oh, I'm not great at CSGO. I'm not good at Heroes and Generals. You know, I've only played two games of Verdun, ever. I've played about seven hours of Warface, about two days full time, like two full days of um, um, Cervarium. I play, I've used to play a lot of Minecraft. I have Gary's mod that I can upload, but I've only played like an hour, hour to maybe three hours of that. I got World of Tanks that I can show you. I haven't uh, logged into League of Legends in three years. Or two years. And I look at all this. And I think about, you know, what, where my life has gone now with YouTube. I look at what... How, I think about what could it have been like if I didn't do YouTube. If I didn't make gameplay videos, entertaining certain people, what would what would I be doing? Because honestly, I I don't really see myself anywhere else. I feel like YouTube is kind of like a home away from home, but at home sort of thing. Like, I realize that I'm at home, and I'm making these videos, but it's like a completely different universe. And just in general gaming, like, there are so many cool people out there that do gaming. There are so many people you can meet playing just a regular game of CSGO, you can make a friend that you would never have met and never found similarities, and if you were just walking past by the street, you wouldn't have been friends if that happened. But because you went on a, you know, CSGO or whatever, and played a game together, CSGO, that's what sparked your friendship. And that's just what's great about video games. That can happen. And I think that's amazing. It's completely changed everything. But there is still things to be said about gaming and how it isn't great, how it, uh, you know, causes violence in the adolescence. Honestly, I don't believe any of it. But, unless it well, wrong mind, of course. But, if you look at everything, how far I've gotten, I've gone from zero subscribers to 42 subscribers in the matter of around a year. Okay. It's not that bad. I mean, it's not great, but... If there is any year that I feel confident enough, I think it is this year, that I will get uh, 100 subscribers. I'm going to keep it open. I really want it to happen. And even if I get 50 in the next two months, I'd be happier than losing two subscribers in the next two months. And my view rate dropping. Honestly, the people that I know, thank you for supporting the cause. 
of Bloodhound. Thank you. Because that's what's thriving me to keep going. That's what's that's what's fueling me to keep making videos for you guys, to keep you entertained, to keep you learning new things. If it's just about gaming or if it's just informing you on other things about games that you never knew were a thing. Like, you didn't know this was... Could, this could even happen in a game. Thank you for all the people that support this channel, and for all the people that will keep supporting it uh, through, you know, the rest of my time on YouTube. And I'm trying to branch out to other things like the YouTube uh, subscriber, not subscriber feature, the um, YouTube live stream feature, and I've already done a Heroes and Generals live stream, and uh, President's Day, which is technically tomorrow for me, but if this video goes up on President's Day, which I think it will be, because that's when I'm most likely going to upload it, um, you will, after you go to this watch the live stream even if it's later than president's day of 2016 even if it's a completely different day you can always go ahead and look at the live stream that i did after this and i'll put a i'll, I'll try if i do it even i'll put a link in the description i probably will but um Go do that, because when you guys are out there looking at my live stream, that's sort of the sign of, thank, that's sort of the sign that I see of keep going. When I see that my viewer count in a live stream is that high, I keep going, and I keep pushing, and I'm thankful. I'm thankful that there are people out there that can find me entertaining. Even if sometimes I sound like I am bored out of my mind. Still, thank you. Because this is really all I could ask for. Is that you people are actually just having a good time and watching my videos. That's what like makes me happy. That's what makes me want to keep going that and the support and you know if you see that you think that someone is doing a pretty decent job on a YouTube channel and they're doing gaming or anything and you have advice for them to make them even better give it to them because that advice that that single bit of advice it may be something small, like remove the unregistered version www.playclaw.com sign. Yes, I know it's annoying. Yes, I know it's there. Yes, I will try and get rid of it. But if it's something even as small as that, that turns their videos into the next Ant Venom or Captain Sparkles or TMBR channel person. TBNR channel then do it because that will make them feel better that will keep them going and that will make more people enjoy their content and that was sort of the motive of YouTube and I want to thank you for those people that do do that ha 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 I said do do but thank you for the people that actually take into consideration that you are the good people. Anyway, I'm J Dog. I was J Dog Plays. I am now Bloodhound. Be awesome. Be amazing. I will see you guys later.